welcome back to my channel. Like always, I'm How To Tech Tips, and I hope you enjoy my videos. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share any of my videos. If you guys have any requests, please comment in the comments section below, or you can even email me. My email is in the description below. Also, I am taking emails as well. If you guys are having any issues with any of your tech, then feel free to email me and I will try my best to help you guys out. So I'm going to start by saying that I've recently created a website. You can see it right here on the on my screen right now. Um, there's a bunch of different tabs that I have. The website is, of course, called howtotechtips.com. And basically, the main function, but I think, for this website is the form section. So you click on forms. Here, you will find all of your, you know, troubleshooting. If you want to sell, you know, your, your Microsoft equipment. Apple equipment, there's just tutorials and laptops. You know, sometimes one person may have an error. I might not have the message, but somebody else might have before. Uh, open discussion for everybody that needs help with their technology. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make any ISO file into a bootable drive. So it's actually quite simple. We're gonna go to the Microsoft Edge as our internet browser. Make that a little bit bigger. And from here, we're gonna just write It's not responding. So right here we're gonna write Rufus bootable USB. And from here, we can left click on the first one. You can do it on Bing, Google.ca, Yahoo, doesn't matter. Okay. I'm just going to switch over. So this is what you will get. You can either Google like I did or write R-U-F-U-S dot I-E dash E-N dash. And that will give you the English version, which you will get this. And here there's a bunch of information. You can create USB bootable drive from ISO, etc. You can use window you can do Windows Server, Linux, Red Hat, all the all the platforms. As long as it's an ISO, you can do whatever you want. Then you would download this guy right here. And then you would I already have it downloaded, so I'm just gonna go to it, which is right here. You would double click it. Oh, it's already running. So it's right here. And then this is exactly what it looks like. So here you would, again, pick whichever drive you have. So I only have one drive in, but you will want to make sure that you have the correct drive. Because if you have more than one drive and you have inf important information on the other drive and you end up getting rid of everything, you won't be able to get it back. So I have a D drive. And then here, so if you look over on the desktop here, I have Ubuntu, Ubuntu. So I'll just pick any of those, that's fine. So I'll just hit select. And then here we will pick 
the file that I, the ISO file that I want to use. So I'm going to go desktop and then we're just going to go Ubuntu. Sure, it's going to scan and it's automatically going to do everything for us. All we have to do is just hit start. Or D, we're just going to go. Sure, ISO, that's fine. Sure. And I just randomly picked that. I didn't even read it, but you would obviously want to read it before you clicked anything. And then here it would tell you the data on device it will be destroyed. To continue with this operation, hit OK. I'm not going to click OK, but you would hit OK. And then installation would all start. And then you would go back to your computer. And then you would see that it is in fact a bootable drive and that's basically it it's nothing really too tricky about it there are other ways you can do it as well you can do it through microsoft um you can do it through microsoft and just copy and paste it over but that's too much work this is the easiest way that i found and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share any of my videos. Stay safe. And like always, I'm How To Tech Tips. Keep teching on.